In this video, we're going to discuss the difference between an ordinary annuity and an annuity due. So in each case, we're dealing with an annuity, which is just a stream of cash flows over time. The difference is that with an annuity due, the very first cash flow occurs immediately. And then the last cash flow is going to occur one period earlier than it would for the ordinary annuity. And I'll, I'll show you how that works. But I just want to show you quickly the formula uh, for present value of an ordinary annuity versus present value of an annuity due to show you how similar they are. So here's the form. This gives you the present value of an ordinary annuity. But the annuity due, it's the exact same thing. This is the exact same as this, except for we add on this times one plus the discount rate at the end. And this actually applies to when we think about the future value of an ordinary annuity versus the future value of an annuity due. The formula for a future value of ordinary annuity, we just take that and then multiply that by one plus R, and that's gonna give us the future value of an annuity due, okay? So I wanna show you an example, and I'm gonna use present value, okay? So let's say we have a company that agrees to lease a piece of equipment for three years and it's going to make an annual payment of ten thousand dollars now the question of does this payment the very first payment occur today or does it occur one year from now that's going to determine whether we have an ordinary annuity or an annuity due now let's say that we've got a discount rate of seven percent we're going to try and find the present value so assuming the first payment occurs today right now that the company is leasing this and they have to make a payment then we would think about the stream of cash flows as follows. We would pay out 10,000 at period zero, which is today, and then we'd pay out 10,000 one year from now, and then 10,000 another year from now, okay? So we'd have three payments of $10,000, and then a period at three years from now, there is no payment, because we've already made our three payments. The first one was today, but if the first payment is one year from now, this is an ordinary annuity. So we've got present value of an ordinary annuity. There is no payment today. First payment of 10,000 doesn't occur till one year from now. And then two years from now, there's an R payment. And three years from now, there's an R payment. Okay, so this is the present value of an ordinary annuity. And this is the present value of an annuity due. Now I'm gonna show you how to calculate them with the formulas. So again, the only difference is that, so in each case we have this part. But then with the annuity due, we multiply by one plus R at the end, whereas we don't do that for the ordinary annuity. Okay, so I've just plugged in the numbers here using our discount rate, the number of periods and so forth. I'm, just, I'm not gonna go through that because I've got another video on it. I just wanna show you the differences. And so we see here that the times one plus the R, okay, and in this case, the discount rate was uh, 7%, so it's 1.07. We have that that is multiplied by this piece here. So when we do the annuity due, it's basically this whole component, this 26,243.16, that's the same as the present value of the ordinary annuity. And then at the end, we just multiply that by 1.07, and that gives us the present value of the annuity due. So in this case, present value of ordinary annuity would be 26,243.16, and then the present value of the annuity due would be $28,080.18. Now, you probably noticed, okay, why, why is this higher? Okay, the annuity due is actually higher. So think about it. So the, in this case, this is a liability that we're talking about, right? Because we're agreeing to make lease payments. So if the payments, when we think about the annuity due, the first payment occurs today. Okay, so this this occurs today. But with the uh, ordinary annuity, the first payment doesn't occur until one year from now. Okay, so we're pushing with the ordinary annuity. The payments are pushed more into the future because it, it doesn't happen until a year from now. Okay, so it's like each each of these is going to be discounted. But with the first payment occurring today, actually this 10,000 here isn't even really discounted at all, right? What's the present present value of $10,000? $10,000. And so if the payments are occurring earlier, which is the main idea behind present value or an annuity due, the payments are occurring earlier, then actually the liability would be higher. Now, if you think about the flip side, so I've been talking about present value, but if you think about future value, you think, think about the same thing with future value of an ordinary annuity versus future value of annuity due. If you're making deposits and you're trying to figure out what is the future value of these deposits, obviously the future value is gonna be worth more if you make the first deposit today instead of waiting a year to make that first deposit. 